Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Old Irix Tutorials. I've renamed this channel to Archive VFX because I think it more appropriately describes what this channel will be about in the long term. Update today is that I've acquired a different O2 hard drive. And this hard drive has been set up with every type of software I think that you could hope to find on a silicon graphics workstation back in the mid to late 90s here. This particular O2 drive has many versions of Alias. You know, there's a power, probably Power Animator here. There's probably Power Animator era. Some early stuff here. And we also have, um, there's a 3D Studio, I guess, on here. There's early versions of Blender. This DS Katya, Akashia, there's Bryce 3D. Uh, there's effects, sparks, equinox, flame, inferno, frost, smoke. But the I'd seen a lot of these, you know, on the on some of the previous videos. But you know, you got every version of Maya. There's Houdini's old versions, and even you know we've done some soft image. But there's a, a running version of XSI. The XSI one and one point five are on here. What I what I'd never seen before in all of my time messing around with old silicon graphics computers is a working version of side effects prisms which is uh, it's a, basically an early version of houdini and so i fired this up and i have no idea how to use this and i thought it would be interesting to show this software in such an early stage we go here like this action this it, there's multiple pieces to this uh, software, this side effects, the prism software has a bunch of different bits, but there's this action and let's see here. We can, I started messing around in here. So I just use a scroll, have a button for the scroll and then there's dolly. So you can get, you know, push, push the camera forward and back. And then there's this rotation. X, Y, and Z. So I guess if we rotate X, we can pan up and down. So let's see if I can scroll up here. And the scene has three lights in it. If we go and look at this like list here on the left, there's like kind of this list here of stuff that's going on. There's objects, information, some materials, a couple of materials up here. There's golden plastic. I have never used this software before. I've only seen screenshots of it really old cryptic screenshots of it that were on the that are still left on the internet from the mid to late 90s and even let's see here we got the wireframe we can give it a like a smooth shading and they even have this Gron shading and then we can run a render over here I, I saw this you can run a render and it has that and where did I did find I found a way to, it was like maybe here. Yes, we could adjust this up. So let's try to do this like maybe 640 by 480. Get a little bigger here so we can see stuff. Done. Yeah. And then we'll try to do a bigger render here. It's very interesting. It's kind of like a progressive, progressive style rendering, which most of us associate with like, 2003 and forward with, with the when the progressive renderer started showing up. So I was surprised here that Mantra has a, a progressive render mode in this early of a this early of a stage. Let's see if we close this guy. We'll do like scroll around a little bit. We can rotate. Get a different view of this guy here. Render that. So I'm not sure, I don't know enough about this. I'll have to read the manuals here, but this is something that I definitely want to build. I definitely want to make a video around this version of you know, prisms because this is quite interesting to me as a archival VFX person who likes to look at these old software and uh, play, mess around with them and see what, they, see what kind of renders we can get out of them and see what they were capable of in their day. I started visual effects. I started doing 3D animation in 1995 
And so this is right, this, the prisms is right around or right before that time, maybe around that time. I had never heard of Houdini or prisms or anything around that. I knew about Power Animator and Lightwave and 3D Studio Max. And then of course, when Maya hit in 98, I knew about Soft Dimage. Soft Dimage was big at the site graph in um, 95. 96, you know, everybody was talking about soft homage on a, on a Silicon Graphics workstation because of Terminator 2 and Jurassic Park. And to see this older version of Houdini is pretty amazing that there's a working copy on a on an old O2 drive. Uh, but yeah, if you have any uh, information, I, I think there's some manuals here I could probably read that come with this on the on the drive itself. But if you if anybody has any knowledge of how to get around this thing, you know, let me know in the comments because uh, this is very interesting to me as a an early version of software that is still used today. Let's log out. So with this O2 drive, there is a lot of material to cover. So I, it looks like I have enough material here to make videos for quite some time. And uh, I say, let me know in the comments if any one of these sticks out to you as something that you'd want to take a look at. Uh, I'm probably going to work on a Houdini video next. Uh, I, I was requested to make a Houdini 5.5 video in the comments before. Uh, but even this here, like you can see this version of Houdini this is like Houdini 4.1. And I was surprised that, you know, I, I, you know, I've shown videos with Houdini 5.5 and Houdini 6.5. And now looking at 4.1, it's pretty amazing. Um, let's take a look at this here. Objects view. Yeah, see, here's this. It's like a, some sort of default scene that's has the Houdini logo in it. It's pretty neat. And we can probably look at it in, uh, let's look at it in the shading here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So this is probably familiar to very few people, this old version of the, of the Houdini software by side effects. But you can still see like the general core components of the software, even back then, still, you know, fairly resemble, you know, you can tell it this resembles the Houdini up today. I wonder if like we press P for parameters. Oh yeah, yeah. It'll bring up the usual suspects here. So very cool. Uh, you know, shout out to GI Joe for uh, sending this hard drive over it's just packed with goodies to uh, unpack and discover and mess around with so we'll have plenty of material to cover in the coming year or so all right thanks for watching